what is up my dudes and welcome back to gold pass clash it is our town hall 13 and today i am going to share with you guys something that i learned from the comment section of yesterday's video or the previous episode of this series whatever so the laboratory is upgrading from last time we still got two and a half days left but did you know that supercell made it to where now we can upgrade stuff while the laboratory is upgrading this is a new thing y'all i didn't know about it but it's pretty awesome. So I've got two upgrades that I can do. As long as I end up with the Dark Elixir that I need, I'm going to upgrade the Golems, if not the Skeleton Spell. Either way, this is the goal for today. And also using my uh, my sixth builder on whatever, something. But first, we need to spend some gold because I just realized my storage is 100% maxed out. You know, I was looking at what I've got left. And of course, I've got a bunch of stuff. I still haven't reorganized the progress base, but the... Um, the elixir is probably what we're going to end up using the six builder on. So I'm going to spend all of my gold on walls, like all of it, most of it anyway. Why can't I spend what's, what's, what's the problem here, guys? What's the, there we go. Okay. So 10.8 million gold. Let's go ahead and just upgrade this one too. And, um, then that should be as close enough. Right. And then should I spend a little bit of elixir? I should spend a little bit of elixir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and upgrade right there. Bam. Okay, I've made room. Queen charge Lalo. No warden. Um, no king. So that obviously makes things difficult, but it is still a whole lot of fun. Also, I have a... I think I've got a different clan castle. Let me look and see what I've got here. Oh, no, I've got balloons. Okay. I'm having a really hard time finding loot. So let's just take this base on. 7,000 Dark Elixir. I'm attacking this one specifically because the Inferno is dead. So I'm hoping to see the other die as well we also still have ammunition in the expos so we'll see how this goes okay so let's come in from uh from the top okay if i can get this air defense that'd be great so let's come in here uh balloon healers and then one two three four five all the wall breakers in absolutely perfect and then hopefully the queen doesn't wander off if she does i've got a baby dragon ready to go yep there we go okay okay hurry, hurry hurry baby dragon hurry baby dragon hurry baby there we go there we go there we go okay and then um oh dang it no the queen's still wandering don't wander queen bloody heck all right um <clears throat> so let's just begin the attack <laughs> oh she's the worst bro she's the worst sometimes all right uh battle blimp uh, i'm gonna get haste spells in and then drop a rage into the core. I've got some freezes, but I don't want... Okay, I guess I'll freeze the sweeper. But I don't want to freeze stuff that the ammunition is going to run out. Because that's that's fun. That's fun to watch. And... Oh, I just double rage to spot. That was not the plan. But it looks like it's working out. Let's poison the queen. And let's drop a rage spell over the queen as well. Hopefully that means we can take her out with something. Um, we got pretty much everything we wanted. Except... Okay, the royal champion. Let's go ahead and throw her down over here. The champion's champion. I love that skin, dude. It's so cool. And with her ability and all the balloons still up, I think we're going to three-star this either way. This is this is why I attack this base, guys, because without all your heroes, you got to be careful what you're attacking. And it looks like this worked out just right. So I've used up everything, and that is going to be a chaotic three-star. Yep, that'll do. That'll do right there. With that loot bonus, over 8,000 Dark Elixir. Not too shabby. And we got ourselves that star bonus. Um, so that's absolutely beautiful. That's 14,000 Dark Elixir. Whoa, I'm trying to collect the treasure. There we go. That's a lot, dude. Here, let's collect that. Where's that going to put me? I've maxed out my Elixir. I guess I got to upgrade another wall. Um, I love now that the walls are a little bit more expensive, that only one wall is enough to make room in the storage for an attack. Like, that's absolutely perfect. It makes it easier. And why do I have two? Oh, I've gotten a couple of achievements. Let's collect those right now. I have accumulated 100 stars in Clan War League battles, so that's amazing. I'll get my 100 free gems, and I know I've got one more. There we go. I have now officially destroyed 40 or more scatter shots for 150 gems. That, my friends, is awesome. Ah, shout out to Lucas for donating some CC balloons. And guys, don't forget you can join my clan if you'd like. Uh, you can find information on how through the Discord server. The link for that is down below in the video description. I just realized I'm about to get 100 more points as long as you get the Dark Elixir storage, which will put me up to possibly, yes, having a Book of Fighting. So that's awesome. I think I actually have a Book of Fighting. I do. And a Book of Spells. Wow. So if I had the Dark Elixir, I could finish off the lab today. And I've got a bunch of resor research potions. So, uh, oh yeah, dudes, we're going to be totally ready for this laboratory to be done in two days. 
I didn't see who donated that uh, the rage spell. I know it wasn't Lucas. So shout out to whoever that was. I love you. 9,000 Dark Elixir. You can't go wrong with 9,000 Dark Elixir. Okay, let's come in. Oh yeah, we got that Dark Elixir storage right there. You're so mine. You're so going down. Uh, <laughs> balloon and healers. And let's put a baby dragon on that army camp. I, I would rather, honestly, the queen walk up, not to the right. Okay, I want her to go left, not right. But, uh, but I have a feeling that she is not going to do as I've requested. She, she usually doesn't, to be honest. Um, but I'm ready with the rage spell. Okay, so let's just watch and see what she decides to do. Yep, we get ourselves an enemy king. So let's drop that rage spell. Um, I've had people in the comments in the past say, why do I always buy my rage spells off center? But that's because you've got to get your healers in there too. Otherwise, you're just losing your, your benefits. So uh, somebody didn't understand rage uh, uh, queen charges. So yes, you definitely want your healers under rage. It's almost more important for your healers to be under rage than your queen to be under rage. Okay, that's kind of the whole point of dropping the uh, the rage spell. Okay, so let's drop a... Actually, there's no CC, but I just killed the enemy queen. So we should probably hurry up and take this base on. I'm actually going to drop them over here. Um, because this is where the rest of the Dark Elixir is. If I lose my queen, mm, so be it. All right, right uh, uh, Road Champion, get in there. There you go. Maybe I can drop another Rage Spell and save the queen, and then I'm going to drop a couple of Hay Spells for the uh, for the Balloons. Let's drop a Freeze. That's going to help out with the Sweeper, and uh, maybe a nice Rage into the core there, and another Freeze for the Sweeper and the Eagle Artillery. Okay, so everything is looking pretty good so far. Um, Royal Champion coming in the clutch saved the queen, okay? That is just awesome. Baby Dragon, you can clean up over there. And uh, uh, Wall Breakers, you can send the queen into something so that maybe she can take out the expo, because I don't think, yeah. Ooh, the eagle survived. Oh my, this is bad. This is bad. Uh, she, I mean, I don't think the eagle's going to win the battle for for this base, I don't think. I don't know. I hope not. <laughs> Let's poison the um, skeletons trap just because that's the only place that it can go. And then, yep, the queen is just going to have to sit here and work on the wall. I've got her ability. Oh, but the pups destroy the eagle. Wow. And look at that. Tornado trap at the end of the raid. Wow. That's nuts, bro. But we actually got that three star without using the queen's ability. That's pretty cool, man. That's cool. I think the clutch part of that was getting the balloons and everything in quickly. Um, after, you know, we knew, okay, the queen's pretty much lost cause. Actually committing the rage spell so the queen charge, not the Lalo attack, was, was, was a different decision in that one. And sending in the royal champion with the queen. It saved the queen and kept stuff distracted on her. Overall, different attack, and it worked out really well. And another star bonus, because, you know, it's awesome. And so let's collect the uh, treasury. And where are we at? We're at 146,000 Dark Elixir. Wow. And I just realized, wait a minute. Do we have storage upgrades? We do. Oh, I don't want to use any runes until I have maxed out these storages. So that's an important that's an important part. This is why you got to update your progress base. At least I need to see it. A lot of people just use the list and good on you. But I like to have the, the, the visual representation, but I definitely need to be updating this soon. So for now, though, um, what is the best elixir upgrade that I could do? I've got barracks, I've got army camps, and everything else is pretty much like the workshop. So, man, I wish I could just finish off this warden, right? I mean, I do have, I do have builder potions. I wonder how many builder potions I actually have. I have four, which is 40 hours, and the warden upgrade has 54 hours left so really doesn't help me a whole lot to use all those right now so i'm not going to uh but what i am gonna do is upgrade this here golem all right 112,000 dark elixir bam and uh i'm not gonna use the book of fighting because i don't have enough loot to upgrade the next one so now it is an eight hour or eight wow it's an eight day upgrade wow um uh, no not gonna wait that long let's go ahead and use let's see we have two days left in the lab and eight days left for the golem. So that means I'm going to use six of these things. That's one, two, three, and four, and five. And then I can go ahead and go buy Uno Mas to give us the six. There you go. Sold out now. Raid medals and research potions. It's the best combo ever. There you go. We now have six days of research happening in six hours. Lovely. And that'll make it to where they end at the same time. So that was absolutely perfect. Now let's drop um, an upgrade or two. Well, I've only, I've got the gems to do another upgrade now, actually. That's pretty sick. 
but no, no, no. Okay, army camps, probably a top priority for me right now. So let's go ahead and upgrade this 4.32 million elixir. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Bam. Nice. Okay, and then how many gems would it be to do another? 341. That's not a bad deal, actually. I've got two builders finishing in two days and one finishing a few hours after that. And so I kind of need to like empty out my storages a bit. So, or maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't. I mean, I need to focus on my tunnel 15 a bit. So if I save a little bit of loot, I'll have it for next time. So you know what? Let's just go ahead and upgrade another army camp, spending the gems. And uh, yeah, bigger army, always a good thing. Next time you see this account, guys, my heroes should be back and I will have an upgraded laboratory. So see what the number one priority for a new Town Hall 13 is in the lab. I will continue to do some farming. Obviously, I've got like CWL stuff. I'm still I'm just using the Queen Charge Lalo in this as well. We won the first raid or the, the first war. So that's absolutely amazing. But odds are I'll be pulling out the Town Hall 15 tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. Thank you to all of you, by the way, that have used code Klaus and buying the gold pass. As far as my statistics are concerned, it looks like about a thousand of you bought the gold pass with my code, which is such a blessing. Um, it's only like a few cents per person. So it's not like I'm a rich millionaire now or anything crazy, but I, it is such a blessing. Huge help to us, uh, us content creators, but specifically me and my family. Um, so thank you guys for doing that. And if you guys do decide to buy the gold pass, haven't done it yet, or you decide to buy any of these awesome special packs, um, then, uh, please don't forget to use code class or anybody's code. And, um, yeah, that'll be it for me today. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you have a wonderful Monday and I'll see you all next time.